Greetings, YouTubers, and today's question of the day is, what is your favorite next-gen system? Um, of course, I'm talking about the Wii, Xbox 360, or the PS3. So leave in the comments what your favorite is. I'm kind of curious because me and a friend got into an argument which one's the best and which one everyone uses more. But anyway, just leave that comment. Mine is the Wii, and enjoy the skit. Man, that F Raptor one, what a jerk. <laughs> and anyway, I'm playing Andoral 38, and he's the um, winner of the uh, Pokemon giveaway. Um, this isn't the battle that we're battling for the prize, this is a battle that I have stored for a pretty long time. So I lead with Aerodactyl, and he leads with Gengar. As you can see, it's Choice Scarf, so he outspeeds me. So I just set up the Stealth Rocks and hits me down to one hit point using his Thunderbolt. But I go into Celebi knowing that he is locked into uh, Thunderbolt. And that's rather whatever. I'm going to go with Elite Sheet on the Switch. Because, you know, as long as he doesn't switch into a grass, it's going to be good for me. And I get it on the Scizor. And I don't know what kind of Scizor this is, but I don't want to risk a U-turn, so I am going to switch out. And the Pokemon I decide to switch out to is Aerodactyl, seeing, you know, it acts as Death Fodder. And um, he does go with the U-turns. That tells me it's probably Choice Banded like mine. And I actually get to see what he's going to switch in first, so that's pretty cool. And he goes into the uh, Zapdos. So now I get to choose what I want to switch in. And I'm going to choose Heatran because I can outspeed Zapdos because mine is Scarfed. He knows this and decides to switch out his Kingdra. And I am just go with the Fire Blast. However, I miss the Kingdra. Not that it would do a whole lot to Kingdra anyway. Kingdra does times four resist fire. And obviously, Heatran can't stay in, so I go into Celebi as he uses the Rain Dance. And um, Celebi does resist water, but I know this Kingdra can still do a lot of damage using Hydro Pump or um, Waterfall. But he has the Draco Meteor, and that's going to uh, lower his special attack by a lot. And I'm just going to set up the Leech Sheet on it. And um, Celebi is a wall, so he does take the Draco Meteor pretty well. And Draco Meteor isn't um, boosted by the rain. And he's probably going to switch here, and he does, and he goes back into Scizor. Pretty obvious play. And I'm just going to go with the Recover, predicting the switch. And um, Celebi's full health again, and that's pretty cool on my part. So I can't stay in again, obviously, so I go into my own Scizor, who does resist the U-turn. And it does do a lot of damage because he got a crit, and that's that's gay hacks number one in this battle for him. Actually, he wins this battle because of two big hacks and one of my mistakes, admittedly. But um, there's one. Um, this size would definitely like to be higher health than it is. So I stay in and superpower, predicting that he'd predict the switch, and I survive with three hit points, which is amazing, because he went with the hidden power ice, like I said, predicting the switch, and that's great. So now it goes into Gengar, and um, I'm not going to stay in, because Sizer is still useful to bullet punch later. So I decide to switch out, and I, I go out into um, Celebi, and um, he goes Hidden Power, and this is Hidden Power Ice, probably, because seeing it's is super effective. I guess it could be Hidden Power or Dark or something weird like that, but most likely it's Hidden Power Ice. And he does switch out, which leads me to believe that his um, Gengar is Choice Scarfed as well. And he goes back into his Scizor, and um, he hits me with the Pursuit, and that sucks. He predicted that very well. Nice job. So I go into uh, Salamence, but now I'm in a good position, simply because he's locked in a Pursuit. And um, he's going to go into Starmie, and I'm going to go for the Fire Blast, and it doesn't do a whole lot to Starmie, obviously, and I'm not going to stay in and get Ice Beamed. So I decide to switch out into Celebi, just as Death Fodder, see what he does, and he does go with the Ice Beam. And I go back into Heatran now, knowing that he's, he's, he's Ice Beam. He's either Choice Scarfed and locked in Ice Beam, 
or he's slower. And he knows this, so um, he goes into Kingdra, and I'm going to use the safe play and just Earth Power. And that almost KOs the Kingdra. And I'm pretty sure he's going to stay in, because he's going to die to the Stealth Rocks coming back in, so I just finish off his Kingdra with Earth Power, instead of trying to switch out and Nerve Predict or something. Now he goes back into his uh, Gengar. And he's immune to Earth, so I have to switch out. And I go into Luke, and he Shadow Balls. And Luke resists that, which is nice. And, um... I stay in, predicting the switch. So, he's thinking about what he wants to switch into. A lot of his Pokemon are choice in some way. And he goes into Scizor. I'm just going with the Ice Punch, just because that can actually damage the Gengar. And it does take finish off the Zapdos, which is great. And now he goes into Zapdos. And I was thinking this was bulky Zapdos, but he does outspeed me, because this is like a attack version of Zapdos. As you can see, it has the Life Orb and not the Leftovers. So, um, that was a bad prediction on my part. And I go back in a, or a Heat Ran now and just go with a Fire Blast, pretty much to KO it, now that I know it's not bulky. And he's going to go out into Starmie, and I make a stupid play. If I just stayed in, like, I had this game covered, because I, I had a pretty good idea that it was Choice Scarfed. But, um, I, I got greedy and switched into the Salamence, and he predicts that and goes Ice Beam. So, that was a terrible play on my part. And I should have just stayed in with Heat Ran and not over predicted there because I pretty much had the game because it was choice scarfed. But now he is locked into Ice Ice uh, Beam, and as you can see, he is going to be choice scarfed. And he goes to the Ice Beam. He just stays in, and goes to the Ice Beam, and he gets the Freeze Hacks. And I was just going to use Fire Blast, and that would have hit down the Starmie just enough so I could finish off his last two Pokemon with Size or his Bullet Punch. And because he got that Freeze Hacks, and because I don't unfreeze his Starmie is going to slightly survive the Bullet Punch at the end, and he's going to KO my 3-hit point, Scizor. So, if that just freeze hacks didn't happen, I would have won, but, you know, hack's part of the game, so it's uh, still a good game on Doral 38, and um, I really hope to battle again soon. Can't wait for a battle because of the, um, the giveaway prize. But, um, nice game. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and, um, well... Good game.